Have you ever gotten so angry that you punched a hole through a wall or yelled at someone you cared about? I'm Hannah Mason, and in today's Spark, we're going to explore the aggression tailspin. So I'm going to make another insanely vulnerable confession and mention the fact that I have a pretty short fuse and have an easy time blowing my top. And the thing that makes me blow the top the most is when I feel trapped. And nothing makes me feel trapped more than trying to be the good mom and do the right thing while simultaneously bearing the burden of hearing the sarcasm and, as we like to say, chutzpah of a teenage boy. So those of you who have teenage boys know that it's like actually a really healthy process that they go through to be rebellious and to define themselves as their own unique individuals. And part of the way they do that is by pushing against their parents. But being on the parent side of that, to be honest, kind of sucks. And it gets me really frustrated very easily. And what ends up happening is that I'll just lose it. I might yell or try to take something away and we get into this shouting match and it's really ugly and hopefully you'll never get to see that. Um, But in any case, and in the middle of that, I just get into this loop where I'm watching my behavior. I'll like step outside of myself and watch how ugly I'm behaving. And I feel so guilty about the way that I'm behaving and so embarrassed with myself that you know what I end up doing? I feel so bad that I end up doing more of it. Don't ask me why, but I just keep doing it. I'll explain why in a minute. Then I end up just doing more ugly behavior. It's really, really insanely illogical and stupid and destructive for my family dynamic. But there I am. And what I get stuck in is what I talk about in my book, Hold That Thought. I get trapped in what I call the aggression tailspin. So there's a chapter I have called The Addiction Loop and The Aggression Tailspin. And if you missed yesterday's video, in there I explain that there's something called the addiction loop. And that's where you have a belief that makes you feel bad and you don't like feeling bad. So you have the choice of either going into fight or flight. And in addiction, we go into flight. We try to run away to something that feels significantly more comfortable than the pain we're in right now. And for a lot of people, that's like chocolate or Facebook. It doesn't have to be some crazy addiction like cocaine or alcohol. It could really be something really simple. In any case, the other option that we have is going to the fight place. And fight is aggression, right? It's when you get angry. It's when you literally want to punch a hole through a wall or punch a hole through a person. Who knows, right? And here you can see, hopefully I'm holding it steady enough, you can see the aggression tailspin. First, you believe something that makes you feel bad. Any thought that makes you feel bad is by definition false. And that's how lie detectors work. Lie detectors can identify when your body is going to into a stress response, a fight or flight response, as a product of believing something that's false. And they can detect that stress response and that's how they know when you're lying, right? So you're feeling really bad and that causes, you're believing something that's bad and that causes pain right? It causes painful physiology. You might close up. You might feel tight. You'll feel sad or angry or frustrated. And because of that collection of painful emotions, you want to do something to get to get them out or to get away from them. And so you go into fight. And the vast majority of times when people are in an aggressive place, they're stuck in that aggression tailspin. And what happens is that when you behave in a way that is beneath your values, right? Most of us don't value being like an angry, mean, obnoxious, selfish, courting kind of person. When we behave beneath our values, we end up coming up with all sorts of other thoughts about how horrible we are. And those thoughts make us feel guilty and bad and frustrated with ourselves. And then you know what happens? Because we feel bad yet again, we oftentimes sink right back into aggression. Now, for me, this can be a nasty loop, and my most helpful tool is, thank God, being married to an amazing man. And he'll often just kind of, like, try to stop me in my tracks and and say, Hana, like, check in, and we'll check in, and we'll have a conversation. And he tries to pull me away 
from this crazy looped up collection of false beliefs that I'm totally buying into. And we'll take a step back and question those beliefs and sometimes even go into a full process of inquiry. And I'm able to recenter and maybe go into some breathing or just have some quiet time on my own and eventually cool off. And it would be really nice if when I'm in that aggression place, I took my own advice, which sometimes I do, but often I do not. And that is as soon as I start feeling the physiology in my body of anger or frustration or resentment coming up, I can just like stop and ask the really simple question. What am I believing right now that's making me feel this way? This is, in my opinion, the most key question that can end so much human pain and violence is just simply asking that question. It's even better if you ask that question or you have someone else ask you that question while you have a notebook in hand. And usually there's more than one belief going on and you could just write them all down. You can do something I call a rant, which is just like, just write freestyle, go crazy. And then afterwards, look at it either together or with a partner or friend and try to see if you can identify all of the beliefs and the thoughts that you've collected on that list or that you've implied beneath what you've written down on that list. And from that place, you can start doing the process of inquiry. Inquiry is simply a process of questioning your thinking. It's something I'm going to be discussing in future videos more about the aggression tailspin and the addiction loop and how they work together. Quite specifically tomorrow, we're going to look at how you can do a loop-de-loop between the two and get stuck in a pretty ugly trap that many addicts find themselves in. So for now, I just want to ask you, Whenever you feel yucky, particularly if you feel yucky so much so that you want to hurt other people or maybe even yourself, stop. Just stop for a minute. Pull out a notebook and ask yourself, what am I believing that's making me behave this way? Or what am I believing that's making me feel this way? And you can start questioning the veracity of those thoughts. Going through the processes discussed and hold that thought will really help you do that. Now remember, this book is available for me here in Israel in hard copy. It's also available on Amazon, wherever Amazon books are sold. And you can get it as a free digital copy on Amazon if you have a Kindle or Barnes & Noble, you can get a free EPUB book. All of these tools are really easy to access. They're fun. They even have cartoons. Like, they've got cartoons. What more do you need? Um... And they'll help you go through this process of questioning your thinking so you don't end up being in an aggressive place and you don't end up hurting yourself or others. Because usually the people we hurt when we're in an aggressive place are the people we love the most. And we want to care for them and love them and be good to them. And I definitely want to see you getting in habits of care and love and kindness to yourself and to the world around you. Because we could all use more of that. In the meantime, I want to wish you a beautiful day. Want to experience more vibrance, clarity, and joy in your life? Book a guaranteed session at hannamason.com slash joy.